Welcome back everyone, this is the State of the Nation. Now last week we saw the removal of the Chairman of the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka, Janaka Ratnayaka, via a parliamentary vote. What was the main reason for his removal? Well, he stood against a crushing electricity tariff hike last year, if you, we all remember that. His case was very simple. The CEB can find the money required from various other methods than taxing the public. Now, the tussle was between the chairman of the PUCSL and the Minister of Power and Energy, Kanchan Vijay Sekar. By now, we know that the minister was implementing the recommendations of the IMF. The IMF wants you to pay the cost reflective price for electricity, hence the price increase. Protocol was followed and due process did take place for the removal of the chairman. But there is a very valid ethics question here. When you stand against the government's measure to cover costs by uh, squeezing the public, should you get booted off your position? And if that's the case, then what's the point of having such commissions? Because no sooner you disagree with something, you are sent home. Does the government want yes people in these positions? Or should there be people who stand for the welfare of this country when the government is not doing what it is supposed to do? I pose that question to the Executive Director of People's Action for Free and Fair Election, Rohan Hittiarachi, and this is what he had to say. My, uh, uh, the, well, the government and the parliament do have power to do that. There's no argument on that in legal framework. But that is not the way that they should handle it, because I think the both sides, there should be some sort of negotiations, the discussions. Because why we are having these two different uh, entity be just because of the check and balance. So the both sides do have power. Uh, uh, both uh, uh, entities are working for the people. Even this Janakaratna, even the even the parliamentarians or the rather government, the both has to work for the people. So both both did their job. But this is not the way the parliamentarian should behave or a government should behave. So there should be some sort of uh, discussions among the two parties. And if you look at the, the parliamentarians uh, voting, uh, for a simple example, when this Ali Sabri Rahim, when he interviewed after the uh, voting, what, is, what was his answer? He just said, the government did not support me, so therefore I voted against the government. So what is the meaning of that? That means they are not serious about the matter. They're serious about their own benefit and their own power circle. I'm not in any way saying that the P former PUCSL chairman is pure. On the contrary, he made many mistakes, especially during the early stage of the economic crisis, where he constantly fear-mongered people by holding press conferences after press conferences, saying that we are running out of fuel, which we all know resulted in a running at the pump. Whatever is said and done, if the government is going to remove people just because they disagree with them and stand against the government, I don't think these politicians have understood the real message of the struggle we experienced last year. Let's take a short break. This is the State of the Nation back in a moment.